Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to week three of the lottery, the final show before the title draft pay-per-view. A bunch of title shot opportunities coming up tonight. So this is gonna be very, very entertaining here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Let's hope that this is great. In our first match, we have a four-man battle royale between Kai, Luke Nyon, and Ian Yo, Jimmy Dreamer, a triple threat fall cat anywhere match between Kun and Trap, Steph Mahoro, and Chris Tyree, and a Karacha taking on Stephanie Big of Hermande. A five-woman battle royale between Angelica Lopez, Vani Tovar, Flutter Byfront, Nevaeli Hin, and Ali Gell, and for the main event, Azra Cohen versus Black Mantis. Ladies and gentlemen, the first match of the night, Luther Neonan coming up first. The following contest is a four-man battle royal. Making his way to the ring from Bismarck, North Dakota, weighing in at 185 pounds, Babe Luther. Baby Luther, also known as Luther Neon, is going to be first up in the four-man battle royale. He's going to try and do his best to get a title shot, the title draft takes to So all the luck to him, and we await our next three opponents. And here comes the next one, Ian Yol. Oh, baby. And his opponent, first from Bad Street, Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 200 pounds. Ian Yol, he had a match against Mystic. Uh, the last show, his first ever match, and he was not able to capture the victory. He had a lot of trouble with uh, defensive strategy, but he's looking to, you know, pick himself up here in this one. Ian Yo is truly a, well, scary competitor, regardless, he has a lot of offensive ability and that's what you need to be careful of, especially when it's over the top rope to eliminate you. And our third entrant, the favorite to win the match, obviously, Kai. I don't know if anyone doubts this guy at all in this four-man battle royale. If somebody eliminates this guy, well, it'll be quite an honor to their name. But then again, it's going to be difficult because this guy is truly a good competitor. If not top three in velocity at the moment. So be careful with this guy. He's ready to get things going. And our last competitor for this four-man battle royale, here he comes, Jimmy Dreamer. Jimmy Dreamer, he's looking to get himself a nice win here as well. He uh, he did win his first match ever. He lost the uh, second match, but 
He's looking to bounce back here and get that 2-1 record. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let's get this match and four-man battle royale underway. Here we go. And yo, and Jimmy starting off. Kai hit Luthor with a top rope. And no, look at that. Jimmy with the top rope. Oh my god. Kai eliminates Luthor Neonin right away. Oh, that's bad. Kai. Oh my goodness. And oh, a chop block to Jimmy. Down he goes. That was one of the quickest eliminations I have ever seen in any battle royale. Ian Yo going after Jimmy. Now Jimmy though from behind. Look at him on Ian Yo in a head to the Kai back to the Now watch out from behind. Jimmy Dreamer what's it gonna do to Ian Yo? Kai trying to catch him but he's gonna let him. Kai catches Jimmy. Oh watch out. Oh Jimmy. Oh got away lucky there. A drop kick there to Ian. Jimmy back to his feet with Kai. Kai caught by Jimmy though back the other way. Kai backing up. Be careful. They both look like they're going to try and go after Kai. It's a smart strategy. Get the biggest guy out first. And you'll have a better chance at winning the match. Kai though. Not messing around. Look at Jimmy eliminated by Kai. Ian Yo is all that left against Kai right here. Oh this is very bad for Yo. Kai is one away. For getting that win already. Kai. He got Ian Yo with that gut kick. And a clothesline. Down goes Yo. Man he's in a bad bad way here. He's left all alone with Kai. Another clothesline though. He's able to dodge it. Ian Yo caught Kai. Down to one knee. But Kai with a gut strike. To get out of that one. Kai taking Yo off. Oh look at this. Over the top rope and wow! Kai with no problem. He's heading to the title draft. That may just be one of the easiest wins I have ever seen. That was such a quick battle royale. Kai made short work of those three superstars. All three eliminations to his name. And wow, Kai is a man to be scared of. And a debut of a superstar right here, right now. Seth Maharu. It's a triple threat. Falls count anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from Fort Worth, Texas. Weighing in at 350 pounds. Seth Maharu making his debut in a triple threat. Falls count anywhere match as you heard for a chance to go to the title draft and well that's a lucky opportunity to get in your first ever match not much is known about Seth Mahar but he is a big strong guy and he surely is ready to get this match underway And next up, another debut of another superstar. Wow. We have three, or sorry, two debuts tonight. And this, it's Groon Endrop. And his opponents, first, from Staten Island, New York, weighing in at 220 pounds. Man, I Rude and chop, ready to get things started. He, I, I do think he's got some talent. Uh, he did actually <laughs> participate in an old NXT show. Uh, I believe he is uh, age of mid-20, so he is one of the older guys here in Velocity, but he is here to make a statement.
two out of three competitors are here and look at this the next one up here comes Chris Tyree Chris Tyree is ready to get things started here against uh, Gunen Chop and Seth Maharu. Good luck to him. The winner of this Triple Threat Ball Count Anywhere match will be heading to the title draft. And without any further ado, Seth Maharu. Versus Kunen Chop versus Chris Tyree, here we go. Referee rings the bell, Maharu and Kunen Chop going to stall off here. Maharu, oh, double axe handle down goes Kunen Chop, but look at this, Chris Tyree's gonna challenge off Maharu. Matt Mayer, what's he gonna do next to Maharu? Back up to a three throw, oh my god, a right hand straight to the rib cage. That's <laughs> Maharu! Runs right into Chris Tyree like a brick wall. He's got Kunen Chop on top, military press, let the gravity do its job. Maharu all over these guys right now. Maharu, oh my god, I crushed the rib of Enchop. Look at Chris Tyree, he's not gonna have anything with that five minute carry down goes Maharu. Chris Tyree got Maharu by the arm, oh my god. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's looking for the hammer lock. And a stomp right down to the arm, oh my goodness. Enchop now, he's got Chris Tyree to one little bionic elbow right to the back of the head. And Chop does not done a tight plan. Back to his feet, all three people started with varied offense right now. Chris Tyree back to his feet with a pop kick. And then, oh my god, an elbow right to the chest. Maharu, oh my Jesus. He's like a bit of powerhouse. That's Maharu sidewalk slam to Chris Tyree. And look at that, oh, went for the goodly magnum, but Enchop went for that clothesline, nothing comes of it. Mahari got him up again, military press, slam! Chris Tyree though, not afraid of Mahari with a bulldog down to go that. Chris Tyree went for that super kick, hit him, but not enough. Got kicked though, take him down, watch out, caught by Mahari! And a takedown, oh my god, this guy is powerful. Very powerful. Chris Tyree took the five minute carry. Watch out from behind. Maharu caught. Oh, it's caught it. Enchop off the rope. But Maharu went for that big move, but Enchop out of the way. Just in time to close down from behind. Maharu falls to the ground. If you can keep him down, that is huge. Enchop, multiple elbows through to the head. Chris Tyree challenges off Enchop. Behind, died watching leg three. Oh, he's not done yet though. Look at this. Stretching off and shot. Oh, gonna wave that off and shot. Get out of it with a couple hands. Maharu back to his feet. Whoa, Maharu, look at him. What? Oh, what? I what? Is he metal? Oh my Jesus! What is with people in turning metal? Oh my God. Okay, Chris Tyree, the elbow drop to Maharu. Had no effect though, Maharu. Trying to get back to his feet and he does. That's Maharu. Look, he has Chris Tyree again. Up to top and a military press. Jesus. Maharu. He has not shot where he wants them. Back body drop. Good Jesus. That's Maharu. Got Enchop back the other way though. Soon Enchop went for that drop kick down goes really back. Enchop heading after Chris Tyree now. He got him down off the rope and a thump right to the chat. And hit a pin. The first pin in the match. One and a kick out at one. Cook Tyree not going to go down that easy. Tyree back to his feet. Went for that right hand. Catch it then. Chop did it. Hey. Maharu's got him back to his feet. Cook Tyree heading off to the thigh. But Maharu wants a piece of Chris. Chris did not though. Look at this. Caught by Oh, look at Entrop. He caught the. Look at this! Oh my god! Tide was in leg three from the headlock. Nice move from Kun Enchop. He got the experience. Maybe he just not had the skill yet? I don't know. But look at that! Oh, a corkscrew neck breaker! And did a pin. One! And a kill was broken up by Seth Mahari there at the count of one. 
Mahari trying to go after one of these two team guys. Wow, from behind and trap catch with quick Tyree. Mahari a fine buster. And did a pin. One and kick out at one. And trap. What's his next move? And trap caught in the middle. Quick Tyree. Look at that. Cork. Good neck breaker. Oh my god. And did a pin. One. And broken up by Mahari. Not a smart idea to go for any pins when one other guy at the round. Quick Tyree does not care. And a two flat. Quick Tyree. He got that Mahari. Again. Cork. Good neck breaker. But another time. And did a pin. One. Two. For the win. Yes. Oh my god. Chris Tyree, he's going to be the title grab. What a surprise. I thought Chris Tyree was the least likely to win it, but I was wrong. Chris Tyree is going to the title grab? Wow. That is unexpected. We have another debut on our hands. Here she comes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Sydney, Australia. And a Karatra, one of the only Australian superstars ever. I don't know if there's ever been another Australian superstar. I'm sure there has them, but not in any professional league as I know of. But Anna Karatka here to make that chain as she makes her debut here in Heroes Roster. Anna Karatra, he's ready to get things started, so good luck to her if she takes way to an opponent. And sure enough, here comes her opponent in her own debut, Daphne Abrego Hernandez. Daphne Hernandez is ready to get her debut started here against Anna Karacha. Both superstars are, well, not known at all. We don't know how good any of they are. I'm not sure if they wrestled any other league other than this one or not, but I mean, they have to be here for a reason, right? So we're about to find out what they can do. Referee rings the bell, here we go. Oh my god, Annika starting off with a drop kick to Stephanie. Both of us are there. Well, about the same height, I'd say. Maybe Stephanie's a little bit taller, but we don't know their weight class. We don't know how good either of them are, but this match was with a pretty good idea of it. Annika got Stephanie back on her feet, looking to make a statement off the rope. And we got Hamande, it's caught. Look at this, oh, a Meteora from out of the air. Wow, just a little pop up in love. <laughs> she makes the statement there. Annika Raka, another drop kick down goes to Daphne. Annika on full offensive right now. Daphne back the other way though, right hand. Oh, went for that flap, completely missed. We've got Annika, oh, a neck breaker. Stomp there to Annika. Daphne got her back on her feet. What's he waiting for? Caught there, not quite. Oh, Annika and Daphne locked up here. She caught, oh, an elbow right to the shoulder. Raka, another Meteora. Stephanie is in a little bit of trouble now. Annika done full throttle. Caught Stephanie off the rope. Watcha! Oh, went for that big boot back the other way. That's Stephanie from behind. Oh my god, I take that. Take down from behind. I mean, it's all gotta work out in the end, right? Both people start need this win in their debut. It'd be nice to see which one's gonna be able to get it. If I had to make a prediction, 
You know what, honestly, I can't make any prediction. Both teams are being fairly equal so far. Definitely went for the trigger without Annika catches her. From behind. Oh my god, a backbreaker! Latra with <laughs> ruthless aggression. I dumped down to the arms. He's working down on. Definitely. Oh my Jesus. Flames the face right to the mat. Annika. He got Daphne. Oh, back the other way though. A knee strike to Gana. Daphne and Annika both on their feet again. A flat from Hermande. Went for the second one. Back the other way though. Oh, Daphne caught her with that leg strike. Back and forth action here. Annika with a chop. Right hand. Went for that flat from her own. Down to one knee and a nice strike. Get a back down goes Daphne. Who's gonna need a second to catch her breath and get back up to her feet. Thunder against the rope. Annika. What is she doing here? Annika running through. Oh, a Mediara. Almost caught her right into the rope again. Definitely back to her feet with Annika. Right hand from Racha. Racha from behind. Whoa! Look at that! Into the mission move with a rope break. Ruined that. Oh, I got dangerous there for a second. Annika off the rope. Oh, tripped up again. Look at this. Oh, what a cross body. Down goes Hermande. Annika almost caught her hard there, but it was not quite enough to stun her completely. Right hand. Annika from behind. Oh, but looks like Daphne though a strike to the back. Armande, look at this. Sent off into the corner. Daphne on the offense now. Oh, oh, a back elbow. Another back elbow down to Annika. Daphne got her back to her feet. Armande trying to catch. Annika pushed away against the rope though. Back off though. Daphne. Oh, call for Annika again, a gut kick, Annika, oh yeah, she's being dominant this match across body, down goes Stephanie. Yeah, I, I would say Annika has been pretty much dominant this whole match. Stephanie has not had a lot of offense or defense whatsoever, but Stephanie though, oh my god, face buster. And did a pin. And a kick out at one, Annika not even close to falling alone. And I come back to her feet with Stephanie, a right hand, reverse though, oh, a soul kick, and a clothesline over the top roll. That's a statement from Stephanie. Oh my god, brushing dirt, come on now, have some respect. To the outside, Stephanie and Annika looking to get that outside offense going. Stephanie, oh, sit down, look at this on top. Oh, look at the palm strike. <laughs> Jesus. Annika was grounded and definitely be kept on pounding. Annika still on the floor. Hermande. Oh, what's he looking for here? Oh my god. Look at this. Oh my god. Stretching. Jesus. Hermande. Kind of thick for the referee. Definitely for Hermande. going to send Annika back in the ring. She'll follow after. Daphne, what you looking for? Oh, stop right to the head. Hermande is all locked up by Stephanie. Oh my god. Look at this. You got her locked up. Hammer lock. Oh. Annika able to get out of it. Annika right hand. From behind. Oh no. Again. Into the day. Oh my Jesus. Another rope break. Doing it at bad time. You could definitely break a Hermande. Able to get her foot on the ropes again. Gotta be better than that. Annika got her back on her feet. Strike again. Annika. Oh, a neck breaker. And it'll... Oh, I'm gonna take it to the middle. And it'll pin it just enough to put away Stephanie with a run there. For the win. And yes. Annika Russia picked up the victory. Anna Karaka in her debut, a nice victory for her, and definitely a little bit bittersweet. And here's next a five woman battle royale for a title shot at the title draft pay per view. Here we go. First up is Flutter by Flood. Her way to the ring from Erie, Pennsylvania. 
a lot of buy flat a lot of my personal favorite entrance in He's not a bad superstar by any means. The crowd seems to love her, I'm sure. The fans and uh well most of the superstars in the back probably do as well. As long as you aren't facing her. Our second entry is it in Battle Royale. She is 0-2, but looking to make a difference here. Navea Lee Hannah. Not been so great here in our first couple matches. A horrible loss to Ali Cook. Did a little better in the match with Angelica, but still lost horribly. And he is looking to make a bounce back here in the five game battle royale. You make it so. You make it so. You make it so easy. No. And our third entrant here is her debut <laughs> as well, Vani Tovar. I'm on my own against the wall. The pressure's building, but no, I will never fall. Instead of crying, they and hear me roar. From and now we're singing, I'm way better than before. I never Donna. needed you at all. Hey, I'm From Montana, as you I'm heard, she makes her debut here at Heroes Roster. I feel she has to have in store because, well, but the look of it, she seems pretty tough. I would be scared if I were an opponent. Ronnie Tovar, I mean, she looks tough. She looks tough, she looks ready, she looks, uh, uh she's got a nice attire. Can't lie. Well, see what you can do here in this map. I'm quite interested, honestly. And here comes another entrant, 4 out of 5, Ali Gell. Mm. And from Saratoga Springs, New York. She had her first match back in week 1 of all that against Flutter Bifle, but she lost that match. And well, funny thing, Flutter Bifle is in this battle royale as well, so you have to wonder if Ali Gell is going to target Bifle. It's all a matter of, well, if you uh, have a rivalry with her. We haven't seen anything other than that first match from Ali Gell, so we will see. And our final entry to the Battle Royale. Oh, she's on a roll lately. Let's see if she can continue with Angelica Lopez. Angelica is definitely the probably most feared woman on the Velocity Woman's roster. And well, right now, she's probably the favorite to win this match. She is very, very talented, very, very strong, and very, very athletic. A whole mixture of talent. Good luck to the other woman. And without any further ado, Bifluck taking on Gal, Angelica, Navelli, Hannah, and Vani. Here we go, five women battle royale. 
left hand from Bailey Hannah is going to go right after Angelica. You think Ali Gell might be targeting by Floods. Nevaeh definitely again. Angelica and Bonnie, the only one here that it is not her debut. Nice move there from Live Flat back to the way in that right hand. From Live Flat to Angelica from behind the Hurricane Rana laid right on the top of her head. Be careful. The Bailey had a all caught by Live Flat though. Couple forearm. You see Bonnie Tobo over there with the Ali Gal Oh, that right in the Bifla trying to work together there. Back and forth, they're working together against Ali Gal. Oh, back the other way though. Angelica left all alone. Gonna go after Bifla here. And then with a top rope. Angelica went for the elimination, but Bifla able to get over. And oh, elbow drop to the head of Vani. Lots of action here in the first part of this match. Of course, whoever wins will go to the title, uh, title draft for the title side opportunity, though. It is a very, very important match for every single one of these women, Superstar. Especially, well, I would say Vani took it the first match. Vani going after Nivea Lee Hanna there, got her trapped in the corner. Trying to get rid of Nivea right here. Oh, left hand by Flood trying to get rid of Angelica, but back the other way, though. Angelica got her against the rope and eliminates Flutter by Flood. Angelica eliminated by Flood. And well, that is a tight to see. Trying to get rid of Lehanna. Look at that. And then they have Lehanna eliminated by Angelica. Oh my goodness. Angelica Lopez with two eliminations right now. She's going to wait patiently for Ali Gal and Vani Tovar to finish up their bow. Vani Tovar trying to get rid of Ali here. Caught to get the top rope. Oh, and Ali going to get out of there. Angelica. Going to go after. Oh, look at Gal. Off the rope. Oh, it looks like Angelica was going to go for the elimination on Ali. Gal, but Vani caught her. Tobar, oh, five and carry though from Angelica. You see the Ali. Gal now. Gal caught her though. Look at Ali. Oh, a neck breaker. You're not done yet though. A moon. Oh, nice flash there. I mean, my goodness. All three of these people are so far being talented. I mean, Vani Tobar also making a pretty good statement in the first ever map, but gotta watch out for. Oh, and eliminated! Wow! Angelica Lopez and Ali Gal down the two! Vani Tobar with the toss right over the top rope, no problem. Ali Gal a trip up, down goes Angelica. One of these two women will go to the title draft. It's an important match right now. Let's see who's gonna take it. Ali Gale pressing down on Angelica, not enough, they're rolling out of the way. Right hand from Angelica. Oh, back the other way though, Ali Gale able to get out of this right forearm, but Angelica back the other way. Oh, Angelica caught, go! Whoa, whoa, look at this, oh, what a suplex, the arm, she's not done yet though, look at that, an elbow drop to the arm, my goodness, Angelica, with great tactical ability. Angelica Lopez, you got Ali Gale against the rope. Oh, trying to go for the elimination here. And that's enough to put away Ali Gal Angelica. Trying to toss her over the top rope. Pushing down, but oh, Ali Gal able to escape that. Not enough to eliminate her fight yet. Gal back to her feet with Angelica there. Angelica gut kick. Not done yet. Look at Angelica. Wow, a DDT. That was beautiful. Angelica Lopez. You got Ali. Sent over. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Eliminated. Angelica is going to the title round. Unsurprising victory in a way. Angelica Lopez stands tall. She's 3 0. And she's going to get her first ever title shot. Oh, and look here, Mystic is out here with the microphone. What do you want to say to the world, huh? So he's asking Chris Tyrese to come out here and he's gonna answer his call. What could he possibly want with Chris Tyrese?
could Tyree make his way out here to answer and lift the call? Hopefully this is good. I don't want to be into it a rivalry. They're both very, very cool people. Could Tyrese actually, oh, tonight got a title shot of the title draft. Now, could Tyrese is riding high right now. So, is it, it's confirmed, Chris Tyrese and Mystic are going to be a tag team, that is interesting, alright, I cannot complain about that. And without any further ado, we have the main event. Isaac Cohen taking on the Black Mantis. He's answering his call from the last show's promo. I cannot wait to see what this turns out to be. As Rick Cohen, he's ready to get things started. He had a match of four against Kai. He was not able to take the victory, but a match here against Black Mantis could change that. And next up, the one who would be called out as the Cohen, the Black Mantis. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 195 pounds, the Mantis. Black Mantis, he's ready to get things started. Good luck to both of these superstars. We'll see how it turns out in the end. Black Mantis ready to get them going, he's fired up, he's ready to go, and let's get this match underway. Crowd is fired up, I'm fired up, 3, 2, 1, belt one, let's go. Isaac Cohen taking on the Black Mantis, the right forearm from Isaac, he's gonna go after him right away. Black Mantis pushing him away. Mantis locked up with Adric again, he's looking for control here. And oh, a leaf block takedown down to the floor. 
some real wrestling here. Dahl got technical ability and so far. Had the Cohen from behind. He's got Black Manta. Oh, switched around again. He's got him by the way. Be careful. I look a snap there though. He's working for control and a headlock. Trying to ground him down and a knee strike right to the spine. As we got the control and then the Gary down goes Black Manta. As a Cohen definitely won that chain wrestling combo. Snap made though a strike right to the back. As a Cohen went for that dumb Black Manta back with the Manta the drop kick down goes Adric. Black Manta got him back with the Cohen stuck. Black Manta got him by the head bell clap. Oh my Jesus! Be careful on a double under hook German Boomplex landed right on his neck. My hand back the other way though, a kick right to the gut. And Adler Cohen, super kick to the face. Gone to the arm though, Adler Cohen isn't quite done yet. Got him by the arm and a hip drop right to the shoulder. Cohen and the Black Mantis just the start of what could be a heated rivalry here in Velocity. Super kick again from Cohen. He's in full control, ran out of Black Mantis. And Adler Cohen, remember the promo of last week nearing the end of that show. He called out Adler Cohen and... Well, could have gotten heated. There was no, well, there was no, oh my god, a backflip, a beautiful move from Adric. Uh, there was no brawl in that promo, but there did seem to be a little bit of heated tension with word. And they can all settle it here in this match like they're doing right now. Adric, oh my god, dropped right on the back. Kohen gonna go for a pin here. One, and a kick out at one and a half, Black Mantid. Uh, you're gonna need to do a lot more if you wanna, you know, put him away like that. One move is not going to do the job. Black Mantis taking him to the corner. Black Mantis. He's got Cohen. Oh. Then down to the outside. Black Mantis isn't done yet. Watch out, Cohen. Oh my god, what's he looking for here? Black Mantis. Oh, a baseball slide. Through the, oh my god. That was beautiful. Black Mantis isn't done yet. He's got Cohen where he wants him from behind. Float over in a TDT. Black Mantis shuffling over, count of three for the referee, a thump right to the back, Cohen in trouble, Black Mantis had full control, multiple elbows, straight to the top of the head. As a Cohen, stuck on the ground at the count of four. Black Mantis is on full control right now, he's got Cohen back to his feet. Black Mantis, throw oh, another Irish whip, they fall to the ground, and Black Mantis gonna head back in the ring. Not gonna count him out, is he? Now he's gonna reset the count. That's respectable. Black Mantis wants to go right back after Cohen here. No damn it! A stop a right forearm and down goes Cohen again. My goodness. Black Mantis another right hand cheese. He keeps on pounding the face of as a Cohen a drop kick though back the other way. Not gonna have it. A roundhouse kick right to the side of the head. Black Mantis another Irish whip. Oh my Jesus. As a Cohen is in deep, deep trouble right now. Black Mantis in full control. He's really getting that offense going. Still on the outside the Black Mantis. The right hand though, Cohen. Went for that full kick back the other way though, Adric. Got that counter super kick down. Go Black Mantis again. Cohen. I was whip all right into the third. Might as well, right? Counter for Adric Cohen still. What is that? A chop? Move back the other way though, Black Mantis. Then all the way into the field steps again. Root with aggression, kind of thick. Black Mantis, oh, takes him his own medicine. Really using no there than an offensive weapon right now. Kind of eight. Cohen gonna get back in the ring. Watch out, Black Mantis, and he'll get back in the ring. Adric heads out, but they head back in. Here we go. Back in the ring. Now the offense switches. Got him in the arm bar. Cohen's close to the wolf, trying to grab on. He's gonna roll out of that one. Oh, he's not done yet though. Look at that. Oh, what a head this is. <laughs> that was beautiful. Cohen got Black Mantis back on his feet. He's not done yet. As a Cohen. Look at this. Drop down right on the head. That's exactly what he needed. As a Cohen gonna go for the pin here. Is it enough to put him away? One, two. A kick out at two. Not quite. Cohen was close. He's got the two count. Adric, oh, 20 knee strike, and then a fan, one, two for the big win, yes, Adric Cohen, picks up his first ever victory. Adric Cohen, he got called out by the Black Panthers last show, and he made a statement showing that he'll answer a call, and he will win, Adric Cohen.
gotta imagine that the Black Panthers is a little salty after that loss. I would be. Called them out, hoping to win, but that was not the case that that's a co-head with an impressive performance. As Rick Cohen, that is a statement victory and well, the WWE, the fans really love this guy right out the start. So congratulations to Cohen on the main event win, and we will see you guys at the title draft pay-per-view next time.